Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Frank Boucher, your host, and for the next two hours, we'll be working with the new Azure Static Web App with Blazor WebAssembly. I was just announced last week. Yes, <laughs> time can be complex, and it, that's not only in JavaScript. <laughs> that jokes. I need some kind of drums like that, right? For the chatbot, when it's a, the joke is bad or a wah, 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 wah. sad trombone, sad trombone. Um, so yeah, so Azure Static Web App is been there for a few months. It was announced uh, at spring, in spring, in spring, um, at Build. Microsoft build so it's really nice because you could now deploy a static web app Inside Azure it's all wrapped up you could do that since a long time But it was a little bit more complex because you needed to go in the storage manage like the the CDA was like the domain name Everything was a little bit more complex. So they created the static web app. So now it's all kind of packaged for us It's super nice and the novelty the new thing the new feature available since last week it's still in preview though. So like today we are exploring um, is the possibility to do it with Blazor. And guess what? We have a Blazor app, right? If we go here, we did create, I should have like the, um, forgot the name of the tool, the tiny window thing that Scott Enseman announced, like you could just drop Windows and the, the portal. So we did create. Uh, oh, I have it. GitHub instead. Let's go in GitHub instead. That's my portal. We don't need the portal. We need. So we have a AZ URL shortener. And when we started that, I had in mind the static web app and all those things. It became better because now static web app existed so I don't I didn't need it to do everything manually but it was not yet ready to do it in in dotnet uh, because I did everything in dotnet but the beauty of this application is the back end is Azure function and the front end could be anything you want so I like my admin web page so I have my own version that I run and I use all the time and other people in the community created a bunch of different so if you go here so let, let me drop that link here uh, and if you go to the how to use it there's there's a list of admin front end you know where you can add delete edit the URL and you could do it since the function act as an API. You could just use Postman or uh, what's the other word, the other tool? Uh, it's Insomniac, Insomni, something like that. Any tool to, that can do HTTP call. You could use the Blazor admin website. I will show that in a second. There's why it's not the. I never merge. I need to merge. Oh yeah, I cannot merge right now. That's why I kind of the man a code freeze. I was like, what's happening? So in VNext, so in the next version, it's still accessible. Sit functional is my own version. I'm migrating to something different a little bit with a little bit a different security. I will explain in a few seconds. But we have uh, someone who create. Power Automate with Flow, so you could do that. Up. In fact, it's Power Automate. It's it was previously uh, named Flow, so uh, very cool. Uh, someone did it with SharePoint List. Someone created the command to do it with PowerShell. Even a batch now is possible to do batching using an Excel sheet in the PowerShell command. So a lot of new um, interface coming up. And one of them is the tiny Blazor admin website. This, this one, 
I will put and that's the one that's the one when I create that project I had in mind so the tiny blazer admin website is a static it's a WebAssembly. So WebAssembly, what it is, it's a DLL that runs on the client side. So no server required. So it's kind of a static web app. So that's perfect. So what I want to do is mix, like, like it was supposed to be, this project, Tiny Blazer Admin website, with the URL shortener. Let's go back to the main page. This and have a very smooth way to deploy that into your Azure subscription. So you could have anybody, everyone can have a URL shortener because I think it's very useful. So I want to implement the new Azure Static Web App. I'm pretty sure it will work straight away, but with the new feature that I added, we like it will be it will be running but we won't be able to access it let me explain so here in the tiny blazer admin website compared to like right now this version the url shortener you can come and deploy here it will works it will deploy the azure function and create a website a, a regular website it's totally functional it's still the version that i'm running but it could be a little bit more budget friendly. That's why I want to I create that one because with this it will be like 2 bucks running the URL shortener by month. But I didn't want to manage a user password creating the stuff and everything. So in this one what I did is I'm using the Azure Active Directory. So AD uh, AAD. So that come free that's part of all azure subscription if you have an azure subscription then you have an azure active directory so i thought i thought why should i manage the user password forget password all the security and like it's security so you want to do it well and everything when i have that thing that is bulletproof or close the closest we can go right and nothing is unbreakable of course we we, we saw the news multiple times but I thought, let's use that thing. So I need to then like add those things because the deployment of the static web app right now doesn't provision or configure that thing. So I'm sure we'll be able to populate, create the resources for the functions, push the code and the website but then we'll need to play with the security and probably execute few commands. So I'm assuming it will be, we'll need to edit the GitHub action because right now you, the only way you can deploy a static web app is using GitHub action. So I'm assuming it will be something after running some command or executing a script or something like that. So today I wanna to explore that. I have a, a few links, oh, completely forgot. Uh, I should do start and let's do uh, this completely forgot to start the chatbot by the way if you are new you can always do commands like bonjour to say hello uh, you could uh, let to say hello to say bonjour. You could play the game by doing exclamation point drop in the chat. You will be parachuted. You try to land in the pool, and the chatbot will try to keep your your best score and things like that. If I'm in the zone, you want to catch my attention. You could do exclamation point attention or exclamation point attention with a message, and uh, CB the chatbot should let me know what's what's happening if you want to know all the commands you could do exclamation point commands there it is and cb should celebrate eventually no why not that's strange
That, that is strange. So let me share a few things. So we have we have a, an announcement, a share, a post that was share here. That's a blog post done by my uh, colleague Aaron, Aaron, uh, talking about Azure and how to get started and everything. So if you're new to it, like you never did anything, uh, you could go there and follow this step by step, and you'll have a nice static Azure static web app with Blazor. Pretty cool. Also, I have a few links. So if you would like to learn a little bit more, and I think I will. Maybe next week we could do that, maybe not. But I think it's interesting. They did, it's only 30 minutes, so we could totally do that next week, uh, beginning of the stream. How to publish a Blazor WebAssembly with the .NET API for Azure Static Web App. So it's a module, it's only 36 minutes, so it's kind of a super fast. Uh, you do that and it gives you points. Uh, pretty cool, I think. Uh, we could totally spend time on that at the next stream. I should first do the module and then do that. But like I said, I would like to I would like to rush it a little bit so I have a little bit more polished product for tonight. But and the last one is of course the documentation. So I want to share that too. Oh, that's not what I need. I needed to do. Wait. That's the last one, and let me reshare that again, but I will add them to the notes for the show notes. Anytime you want to add notes, I think you have the permission to do it. You could do notes, voila. And the last one is the docs. I need to do Note a lot, and I should say time um, sharing Azure static web app news. And if you want to add a timestamp in the show notes, uh, you do exclamation point time. That's a new command that is available. The goal is to create a timestamp when I publish on YouTube and it will helps. So the show notes, let me show you what they are. The show notes are something like this. Every show notes go on GitHub, so everything is there and I have timestamp, right? So if I do this, then when you go on the uh, YouTube channel, I think it's the YouTube channel for the archive is behind my cloud. And then if you look here, you will have like section. See how the, the um, there's cut. And now it's the intro, so the note will appear here. So anything, anytime you want to do that, because I'm really bad at it, <laughs> you could totally do that. So I'm just curious. Okay, no, see this working. Cool. So yeah, so does it sound like a plan? Does it sound like a good plan for you? So I want to do is create a static web app, bind it to, I want to create a static web app for the URL shortener. And we'll go from there. Let's go full screen. And we'll go from there and see how we can automate the uh, security stuff. So now I should do time create static web app via portal. So we'll go into the portal and we'll create. So I do plus and I search for static web app pixel and that's what I want just here right 
Excellent. So I do the create thing. So now I have this. So I will create a new resource group. Let's do um, a tiny test, a tiny stream test. And the name of the static web app. The region, I will take ECUS2. I need to sign in into GitHub. Voila. So my organization, it's me. It's a me, Mario. No, it's a me, F. Pucheros. Though, I deleted my account on GitHub. I had before an account, F. Bucheros, on GitHub, and I deleted. Did I? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Because I thought F. Boucher, who's like, Boucher is my real name, was more serious. But then now it's the only one that is not matching everything else. Isn't it like uh, one of your uh, thing also, John Galloway? John Galloway? I know I say it, you know. Okay, so here, so now the repo will be the URL shortener. Oh, we have so many projects I want to work on. Like, remember that one, the CLI? I want to do a CLI module, that would be cool. But for now, we need the AZ URL shortener. And the branch I need is feature deployment. So build detail, enter the value to create a GitHub action workflow file. Is it big enough? I feel like it's tiny. No, I think it, it's a little bit tiny, right? That's way better. So enter a value to create a GitHub action workflow file, build and release. Uh, so that will create a kind of template for the GitHub action. A GitHub action is a script that will be triggered, like that specify a a workflow in GitHub, uh, when and how it will be deployed, what it does, it's all like it's all details in one file that is called a GitHub action, and in fact, it's a YAML file. So here we'll select one module. So right now we yeah, that's not what I wanted. Why oh, it's not working? Okay, that's better. So before you had all the different frame, the JavaScript was supported and now they make it fancy. So you can, instead of just saying JavaScript, you can have React, Angular, Svels, Vue, uh, and different uh, static website generator. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the reason why is every of those framework or static website will have different command to generate the website and also different target. So instead of having you customizing everything, by doing so, by selecting the one you want, everything will be pre-populated for you. So the goal of that, again, is to just make it easy. But for us today, it's this one. The Blazor thing. Yay. Okay, so we pick Blazor. Okay. So now what we need to do, and that's a funny part, uh, to make it very clean, I will need to do different things in our project, but right now we'll hack our way through a little bit. So right now what I need is to specify the app location, the API location, and the app artifact location. So. If I go into the good branch. Oh, I need to delete that. I was testing it. J 
just to be sure. I was so excited during build. I quickly tested and saw like, like I know it, it will be working, like I said, but then we'll get stuck. So I just need to delete that thing here. So that's her, her stuff will be, uh, that's, that's small. <laughs> Let's make it bigger. So this is our, um, or YAML file that describes our stuff. But right now we want to create that. So let's delete it. And even let's delete this thing. Cool. So we'll reset that. And I push. Right, so now I should have mute you. I'm just afraid today I will have uh, I will receive some package, and then they required a signature. So uh, I may pause for a, a few seconds. Okay, so here, yeah. Okay, so now it's gone. Perfect. So now, okay, yeah, yeah. I was about to. <laughs> Frank, words. That's hard. Damn it. You know. <laughs> Let's start over. What I want to say is, it's two projects, the Azure Yard Shortener and the Tiny Blazer Admin. Usually, to bring the Tiny Blazer Admin inside this one, I would use a Git module, I think you call that, where you fetch from another project and, you know, bring it and like so you could run in two GitHub project. I did not do that um, because like I said, I was just kind of super excited that uh, it was announced. So I just kind of copy paste and put it inside this branch. So before we go for V1 of the URL shortener, I will need to make a proper module thing kind of, but right now, right now it's a hack. So. What we need, the first thing is the, uh, let's do the API allocation, that will be the easiest one. So that's our Azure function, okay? So for us, it's in source, and then in the shortener tools, that's where it will be. So that's our project here. So that's our Azure function, that's the API. So what I wanna do now is paste this folder and put it here. I should have check <laughs> when I put as a value in the other one, you know, and just copy paste instead. But that's good. So now I'm explaining to you, right? So the app location. So the app location is your application code, for example, the app, okay? But for us, it will be a little bit more complex, like I said. So we need to go up, it's still in source. It will be in the admin tools. And now I need to go in the tiny blazer. I mean, see, this is all the different version available as a front end. So, but we want the tiny blazer admin. And that's the project we want. Okay. So that's our path. And I think our artifact will be in the same WW root here or maybe it's just WW root damn it let's see okay so so the app location was this the app loca API location was that, and the artifact was WW root. So it's based on this path, the artifact are in WW root. Excellent. Make way more sense. They did it right. They're good. So that's perfect. Oh, that's cool. So now let's go tag. 
I will use my owner tag that I like and I will use why are you expired on and let's put 2020 09 oh you know what 010 02 give my, give myself a few days of, of loose with that so now we'll create a review in fact and if I did clean up everything perfect when the oh maybe I should check here so usually it will create some kind of security if you go in secrets you will need that when you sign in it will create that thing here so uh, sometime you need to delete that so now it's submitting the request deployment process it will say done very quickly but then it needs to sync and everything so like it won't be completely done so right now i say deployment complete but if we go and check inside our deployment it won't be done yet so we need to wait a little bit more so deployment details we can have a look it created this operation details we have all the information here if we go to the resource so that our static web web app and I have my loose tone I have my application but right now it's not done yet because the git are synchronizing so my code is getting build and push in fact if we go inside the URL shortener if I go in my github action just here right I have the github action if I click that I should see something and right now we see that it's queuing so it's running right it's like it, right now it's building and stuff like that so it's not done yet so while we're waiting for that the thing we could do is close this thing and just pull the last changes from our CI CD and let's have a look to that uh, workflow that was created for us so that's a you could after that it's just a template so you could do whatever you want with that oh that's a good one John so close <laughs> come on So let's add the time stuff. So here is it? Does the music is too loud? I put the um, today. I put the electronic. Maybe it's a little bit too. Uh, is it too uh, energetic for you? Maybe I should go back to uh, lo-fi. Is it loud enough? Could you hear it? Is it too loud now? Let me know. Let me know, Cloudies, in the chat. I really need to add those clouds. I really like the look of those. Uh, okay, so if we look the the template that was created for us, we see that we have on push in this branch or on pull request, so open, synchronize, reopen, close, all the branch, all the uh, kind of a pull request type, it will do all the things. Oh, that, that looked good. Yeah, pretty good score. Yay! Yay! <laughs> awesome! Yay! <laughs> Not rigged. <laughs> what? Well, like it depends, GT. If if your goal was to land in my face, you got it, <laughs> right?
See, I won't have it. I will be in the other corner. Okay. So now we look at the build and deploy job. So if the GitHub event is push, it will do different things. So it will create a new uh, server to uh, to to execute to build. So it's, it's using Ubuntu. Perfect. So build and deploy. We'll check out the code. That's cool. With sub module, huh? So I could use the sub module. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, then build and deploy. That's just an idea, and now it's using the this, and that's what we need to build and deploy. So right now here, if we look at that, like Azure Static Web App API token, and it go in the secret and get the, the like the token, and that's when we look into oh like it's completed, yeah, it's completed. If we look here in our secret section. That's the thing you want to go and create. So that's security token to go. I think I, I can probably delete that one. Yeah, remove. It's not, I, I, like that's the my previous test. That's why I can I can delete it. So now with that, it will get everything it needs and do a, a upload. Right, the action is upload, so taking the code, uploading, and it will push the result in those location. Then it co it close the pull request and all those things. Oh, that's good. Two times in a row, John Galloway. Jan Galloway, you're in fire. You could do stats also. If you want to see your stats. Or scores, if you want to see everyone's scores. Okay, so everything was deployed. So now if we go here, that was the... Can I see anything different in this page? Let's, uh, can I refresh this page? What's browse? Okay, it's opening this. Oh, I never. Thank you for using Sedigua. Not receive content. Click here. Okay. What? Oh, that's so cool. Huh. Did you see that? That's cool. So, obviously, I need to refresh that page. But it says that, hey, you know what, like, that's why, like, the page was empty, didn't, sorry, I, I draw a line on top of it, but say, so, hey, like, we didn't receive any content yet, so it was syncing, like, the to git, because there's a git also in Azure, I was syncing, that's pretty cool, if I refresh now, does it, that thing still there? No, it's not. And now th those things are running. Cool. If I go in uh, functions, hmm. Yeah. Whoops. Arr! I have my functions. Those all the the function of my uh, easy uh, Azure functions. That's pretty cool. So they are, and I'm stuck there. Did I broke my keyboard? Maybe. Okay, it's not broken. It was just mad. Cool. Environment. Feature deployment. Okay, so that's the branch production. That's pretty cool. That brings us here. Cool. Roles. 
Huh. Tasks. Also, I could have some kind of auto automation. Export template. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh, there's nothing yet. It's not supported yet. Well, it, it is like there's a template. If you go in the documentation, you will find a template for a static web app. But uh, right now, it's not supported. The portal ju doesn't generate yet. But you know, it was announced last week. So they're still working on that. That's pretty cool. Hey, MC Pistachio, MCM Pistachio, welcome to the stream. The configuration. So that's the app setting for our function, I'm assuming. For what? Application setting applicable for your website's encryption transmit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, ready? Let's refresh. Control R or refresh. Drum roll. Go now! Go grab the banana! Why not? Good source of potassium! It's. Whew, it was I, I, annoyingly. Annoyingly? Yeah, annoyingly slow. Cool. So, that's our interface, right? That's our stuff if I do this here now if I go URL manager should have the pop-up yeah so I have the pop-up and that's the thing right now I didn't create the entity so I need to create the service principle so we need to do that but it's working, right? Yay! But now if I try, it will fail because the app doesn't exist. Cool. But you know, it's everything that was supposed to be working is working. So now um, let's put a timestamp. We'll do the um, create service principal principal from I'm not sure if I should should do a script or directly from the CI CD let's put from code uh, there's one thing I'm not sure so do I have another account So I wonder when, uh, no, like, let's close that one. When you clone an environment, does it won't work. It won't create the. Uh... When you clone an environment, will it bring the DevOps thing? I'm trying to see if it's easier. Anyone? Uh, but like right now, it's not in main. If someone want to try it, that that could be helpful. Try to clone this environment. Bonjour. Hi. Hey, Code Chan. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Nice to see you. See now, Bonjour works <laughs> because I am on my channel. I need to bring those sound effects um, to the Microsoft Developer Channel. Uh, so if someone would like to clone this environment and see if they have the workflow, though the workflow, it's not a good idea because it will fail.
Okay, so I think we need to understand the service principle and do it in a script. So create create service principle uh, in CLI, Azure CLI. Oh, the YAML is pulled down, but Okay, so if the YAML is pulled down, the only thing missing will be the token and creating the resources. Hmm. Uh, current service principle. <laughs> but Yeah, we'll need to create app settings here. That shouldn't be a problem, right? So continuous delivery GitHub action. So GitHub action let you define a workflow, perfect, blah, 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 GitHub action, YAML, GitHub workflow, target step for Azure function, the workflow, some build deploy create a service principle you can create a service principle by using blah 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 in azure cl you can run this command in the command show okay no that's not what i want to do what i want to do is create i won't be able to do that so I need to run a script. Yeah, I will need to, to run a script. Because right now when I did create the secret, so what's done by the portal, I'm assuming like what's save, it's the uh, kind of secret, so contributor, it has access in, in with the scope, right? So I am pretty sure that it had only the access to the subscription resource group and can manage like the static web app. So it won't be able to play inside the Active Directory. And I need to play in different contexts. So if I have a script, that should work. Oh, that will be interesting. Hey, Triple B, welcome. Bonjour, hi. We have a new thing, you wanna try it? Try exclamation point attention and then put some text after. That's what I did on Friday. Oh, I didn't create the the text. Oh, that's sad. Frank is drunk. <laughs> oh, why I didn't create the the text? Strange. The image were created, but they were not displayed. 
Let's pause. <clears throat> Did you see any text? Right? So let's do a timestamp. So let's open a new uh, cloud bot. We'll move that on the sign. See? Show text and say rigged. And I don't know if this one is it's not working. That's really strange. Uh, if I do like this and I say Oh, the image is broken. Did I do a mistake in the path or something? Uh, JavaScript. It's possible because I changed the path. <laughs> yeah, it was working. Like it was working. I even did a tweet last week about it, but maybe I forgot something. Uh, so here. I think I'm putting it inside the image viewer and in the chat, but. Uh, Chatbot show, I think. Yeah, image viewer. So it's generated. Does the image work? Yeah. Oh. I have a har here. That's the problem. So let's do a save. Let's refresh it. Hopefully the reload will work. Uh, open this, refresh the bot. Now let's do a, a load. And now if I do attention, The app crashed. Wonderful. <laughs> the app crash. Uh, did it save that I loaded? Module. Oh, I didn't like. Damn it. Okay. So if we go in stream sessions. Was all corrupt because two were open. I have a few time logs. Okay, so let's copy that in a new file.
Okay, so let's close this instance. Let's let's delete this file. Delete. So now let's do. Does it? Control C. And now can I just restart it? Okay, so now let's refresh this. Damn it. So now if I do a start, uh, yeah, start, and it was AZ URL shortener. Right. Oh, it, it doesn't even want to undefined one. Michael, you really broke my stuff. <laughs> Jason, that is loaded. Why are you loading? I just say start. send the error also in index line 93 let's have a look that was drop Control C again. Let's do a clear. Okay, so now it's working. Right? So now let's refresh this thing. Now, if I do drop, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Now, if I do start. A Z U R L shortener doesn't like that. So why it's loading when I do a start? It shouldn't be loading. Right? Stream note start. Maybe it does. Not maybe, it's clearly doing it. Load from file. False. Okay. Is reload. It's still looking for, for that. Okay, if I do save. Does it save anything? It's broken, right? That's crashed. Yes. So what I need is to clean that. So that's... That's the user session. So AZ 
URL shortener. User session boom. Time log, we had time log in the bottom here, right? Yes. So let's put the time log in there. Start it again. Clear. <laughs> that was not part of the plan today, but that's cool. So let's refresh it. It means the cloud bot is not bulletproof, people. <laughs> Start az URL shortener. I did a typo. Okay, data is loaded. So now if we do attention test. <coughs> yeah, whoo. <laughs> so now let's put back the stuff in the notes. So note, boom. Note, and the last one. That must be surely dev. <laughs> There's way too much drop right now. Note, uh, static web app, doc documentation. Oops. Excellent. Welcome, surely dev. Yay! Yay, of course, you land. Of course you did, Len. So now if I do save. Hopefully I didn't lose your score. Uh, so start time, start time, that's us right now. Uh, we start probably at 13 zero so I have, see that's cool so now I have the notes available there I want to show off uh, the session are there John Galloway cool we have her uh, you have uh, your uh, high score is still present in today stream so we'll show up uh, and then we have Oh no, we lost the time log, the, the time stuff. Did I delete the... Oh no. <laughs> if I do control Z. Do I still have it somewhere? Control Z again. I have it here. Cool. Ah, it won't work anyway. 
Let's put that on the side for now. I will try to see if I can fix that later. Nope, don't save. Cool. Close that. It was not the topic of the day. The topic of the day is the static web app. So, our tiny admin website is working. Where are you? Where are you? I'm... Hooray! <laughs> yeah, come on. I couldn't lose that thing, right? 98? You're leading today. Scores. Z zero 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 zero. Not sure. Oh, Lurky Dev beat you? Was it today? Thank you for the host. Jeff? Bonjour. Hi. Fragberg is there. Welcome. Who's cheating? Uh, I don't know. Let's, you know what? I was not, I did not intend to uh, spend time on that, but uh, let's investigate. Right? There's no cheat on my watch. <laughs> No cheating on my watch. Let's figure it out. Uh, let's do a save right now because since I have a host, that should show up also in the uh, session, right? Uh, where is it? Host, yeah. Cool. Boom. Uh, Another one, excellent. Hey, Shirley Webb is also hosting. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if you want to follow, if you want to, you know, subscribe also, guys. <laughs> I can test that. Um, so, what was the other one? I forgot. Oh, um, Oh, so apparently it was today. Lucky de Lurky Dev. Lurky Dev, land. How come the chat doesn't report that? Lurky Dev, drop. the cat, Len 84, uh, 48, no, no, 84. Copper Beard, 4. Jeff the Hat, 57. John Galloway, 52. I don't like, how come? Wait. Something is wrong in my process. Everyone have no users. Oh no, this is a old one. Twenty-two. Did you win? Did you land today? Oh no, that's last update. But the high score is not today. That's me. That's all on me. That's my fault. So the problem is, I don't know if you if you if you see and understand is I'm updating this so I know when is the last time you played so I could show your stats for today. But that I score there's no date. 
So it's your high scorers. So as, so as long as you play today, your high score is a high score. So it will show up in the stat. That's wrong. It means I need a like high score of the day or something like that. And like the high score. Oh, that's wrong. Let's add something to fix that. Uh, and we'll use, I'm assuming triple B, it's okay if I use your data as an example. In the board, let's create a ticket for that. Boards, we want a cloud, but let's add an issue. Um, I don't know how to spell hi. <laughs> this word is hard for me. G H T. I don't know why. I'm always not sure how to spell it. Today's date, not today's date, today uh, stats. <laughs> oh, is it his fake? Is it his birthday? His birthday? Is it his birthday? Happy birthday! He's old, 50 years is old. Track bird, how old are you? Oh, okay, you're poking him. Yeah. Because I think he's more like 55, 60. <laughs> I, he's probably my age. <laughs> so <laughs> I shouldn't be joking that much. Um, Sixty. <laughs> No. No. Like he clearly left, right? He was just here to say hello. F bomb up my chat butt and then he left. Right? So we should we should stop bashing him. Um Okay, so I need to explain oh like it. You don't even see it. Let's go full screen. Uh, so, um, So we probably need a new value like high IS. High, how do you highest score? Like best score ever? High score, best score? Highest score? How do you say that in English? High highest score? Highest best score? All time best score, maybe? Yeah, all time high score. <laughs> D 
definitely. <laughs> Not sure how time because I won't keep it for. Oh, well, maybe I could. I intend to reset all the scores uh, every month. I think eventually. <laughs> uh... All that just for a little game, right? So that's a bug. Um, uh, it's not an enhancement, it's a bug. Uh, good 30 shoe, help and wanted. Yeah, have fun people. Cool. How are you, Fragburn? I should create a command to let you know every time you say uh, play Fragbird to say oh instead type but I cannot write a message as you but you know if okay, I could catch the command and switch it but you know I could clearly say if someone type play then I would say hey fragbird <laughs> even if it's not fragbird hey fragbird it's drop boom collision ah oh, I love that how they bump each other's John you're in fire how many times did you uh, drop into the pool today <laughs> oh yeah, you're sick. Ooh, something serious or just like a bad cold or a virus or something? I wish, I wish you uh, prompt. Uh, what's the word? Sorry. I, I, like I'm wishing you you go better faster. Sorry for the lack of word. Words. Okay, let's close this. Let's go back to our stuff. Recovery. A prompt recovery. Thank you, John. English is hard. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. Well, it's better that if it was something you hate, right? Again, that joke. I really need a sad trombone or. Okay. So did we finish that? I think we did, right? So now we need to create. Oh yeah, that's a thing. So to create. Okay. Wow, Frank, Frank, Frank! So in deployment, we'll need... Oh, I have an Azure CLI here, cool. So I will need a way Okay, so let's move this up a little bit. And
in progress, your Mickey Mouse. I was saying the joke eight and hate because for me it's hard to think about pronouncing my H. So a lot of time I will or will not just, you know, randomly because in French we don't pronounce the H. So hair and air and all those stuff for me it's the same thing. So I need to think a lot. So I could have read your stuff and say, oh, I think it's some something I hate. But I think it's easier to fix if it's something you eat. Because, you know, fixing mind is tough. You know what could be cool in that drop game? If you could catch someone in, in the fly, just like kind of hug him and, you know. Okay. Yay! So now what we need to do is create a service principle, but we'll need a nap. We'll need a scope. No, I need to create, I need to create a nap registration. It's not a service principle. something like that right because what I want to do now is go in Azure Active Directory I feel like it's tiny I didn't like I'm in 4k that's maybe why uh, and now what I want to do is do an app registration right I want to do an app registration by Azure CLI yeah an app oh, here I'm in SP okay that's not what I want service principle application cool Okay. 
big. <laughs> what? Because you didn't uh, land? <laughs> I love that attention stuff. See? I catch. I read it. It's awesome. I love it. We need, we need to make it a little bit like better display, but I love it. Okay, so we need something like this. Uh, let's do the... Um, I don't need, I don't want to create something that already exists. Uh, where is it? Administration. <laughs> it already exists, Frank. Okay. Uh, then tiny admin test. Tests UI. Is it a native app? Yeah. Account, organization, directory only. I uh, will need to change the URI. the allow member type I will need to pass a manifest create a native application with delegation permission access a AD directory as a sign-in user that's what I want to do right no yes account organizational directory only App role. Declare the role you want to associate with your application. Should be in manifest the JSON format. Okay, the only one is display name. Okay, that's easy. Um, oh, 
yeah, so how to get... Well, that would be interesting. Because now... So that's true. Well, let's not specify anything. Um, the re reply URL, right? Those are, is it the direct URL? So it needs to be It needs to be that one, right? So now if I open the console, no, the console is here, voila. If I do AZ, looks like I'm not the last version of it right AZ um, group list the output as a table okay so if I do this will you work did create something right so now I need to retrieve the app ID so I should put that in the variables If we go here and now we refresh, refresh. All application. Yep, it's here. So if I look at the tiny admin demo, Uh, and I look in authentication. I have the URL or direct. Oh, logging, logging back authentication. So I did it wrong. So if we go now, see. The one we create, and I go in uh, authentication. We have this. Oh, we need this. Right. And now I need to put the result inside a variable. Maybe I should do it uh, in PowerShell. <laughs> <laughs> Azure query command output. Yeah, because now I need to parse that.
So I should delete and try again. And after that, if I do something like um, app ID Yay! equal, and then execute the command. Wow, that's a bunch of uh, lending. Holy crap, that was... <laughs> I missed it. You're back at 3B. You missed the part where everybody was uh, telling how young you are. asking that but uh... oh get multiple value oh my god I need to do that <laughs> that's what I need to do Yeah, people were saying like you're very old and everything. I said, well, he's probably my age, maybe younger. I don't know. I think we are the same. I, I, I'm not sure if we already talked about that. <clears throat> Off screen, I mean. Yeah, so what I will need to do is a query where I get the name. That could be useful, right? And then I will have the objects that I need. That will be very interesting. So what I need to do with my command here is do a query, right? And it was single quote and then square brackets and here I had the the stuff so the first value I'm looking for at the root level is probably display name right so it'll be display name And after that, I need the app ID. You're probably older. Well, they, they say you are turning 50 today. If you are 50, you are older than me. I love the bouncy effect. By day? You still have here. <laughs> That doesn't count. Pretty sure it doesn't count. Okay. Um, okay, I need the ID. 
app ID. No, I didn't app ID. Okay, so app ID is also first level. So that's cool. So now the only one missing is the tenant ID. Not sure we'll have that from this. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, no. It's only there. Object ID application. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't need that. I will delete it anyway. Yeah, so I want the tenant ID two o six. Oh, I have it here. Metadata. I'm assuming. No, 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 no. I don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Azure CLI. Uh, AD tenant ID. Just do this. Okay. And I do something like this and I say uh, subscription ID equal this no huh? So, oh, it's just ID. I should do name instead. No?
that's not what I want to do. Oh, okay, I need the uh, interrogation point. There it is. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm asking a question, a query. Okay, so if this, no, I mean. So let's put it. Uh, the property is cloud name name and it will be it's Frank Perso I think This command works. No, damn it. Let's copy this in here in our CLI. Let's I need an equal equal. Control shift that that's what I was doing. Oh, just control this. Okay, so it doesn't work. Doesn't there's something wrong. That's why PowerShell is cool, guys. So here it says, uh, okay, return everything, and then it parses the stuff. I say here. Right. AZ account list query. I mean, that's what I'm doing, right? I could do the up, like I could do this instead, but uh, I know I'm not doing the ID though. I could let's let's try with the ID instead. Interrogation point ID equal equal subscription ID output JSON. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that worked. So now if I do dot tenant, I, I want this value, right? So let's just copy paste it. <laughs> if I do this now, let's do a clear first. Now I come here, execute that command. Yeah, I got it. So now it was TSV. I always forgot. Yes, TSV. Right? Yeah, so that works. So now let's try to do this the same command but with the name because I think the name of our function will be a little bit more accessible. So let's do j this here and let's do a j json. So this give us our output. So if the name is equal to that. So if name equal to this. Right? It should work. Hey Fragbird, you drop! Yay! Fantastic! Oh, fantastic! It's fantastic, Fragbird! Like, you know, all those bots. <laughs> but you are Fragbird, and that's what makes it special. <laughs> I'm not even here. Hi, guys. I'm, I'm behind. Let's, you know. <sighs> I'm wearing my uh, Cloud 5 Minutes. You don't even see it. Cloud Minutes uh, t-shirt today. Um... Or is the the frag bird? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's try this command now. I must have done like something bad before because now it's working. So I want. So this should put the tenant ID, the result inside tenant ID. Right? Oh. <laughs> Are you the ninja? No, that's code with code with Sean. Like code with Sean is further further away. Don't complain. Like you know, code with Sean is it's not complaining. Well, yeah, I agree with you. All those, <laughs> but landed, but not you. <sighs> Damn it! Okay, so that's cool. So we have that. Now we have the app UI that should be created. So now let's try to run this. So if I run that, didn't like it. Tenant ID. Checks the spelling of the name. Oh, because I have this? Should I escape them?
Oh, it was dollar sign? Yeah, I had the dollar sign. It's using just single quote, so maybe that's the problem. there so okay if It worked. Oh, you land after your uh... yeah, John Galloway. <laughs> ah. Store a single property in a variable. Yeah, that's easy. But I'm not sure I can do that. But no, I, I don't need anything. I just need the um, I just need the app ID. I need that, right? TSV. Does that work? Works? No. Oh, is it because I'm doing something? Let, if I do, I let's clear that. If I paste it directly, no. Tenant ID equal dollar sign. Blah, 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 blah. The term tenant ID is not recognized as a name or a commandlet function. Oh, because I'm in PowerShell. If I do that, it's grayed out. Strange. Yeah, yeah. 
make it bigger. Do I have a AZ install here? Yes. Uh, if I do a AZ group list output in a table, what are the I need to log in, huh? okay, AZ login. Oh, look like it's an old one. Oops, I need to paste this code. And I will with this. Cool. Cool. So now clear. So now if I do this command, it should work. Because I'm in bash. Yeah. So if I do now echo dollar tenant ID. Yeah. Okay. And now this And if I do echo dollar app ID nothing. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, so close and yet so far. Oh, maybe because it was not uh, <laughs> now, now John is doing it every time. Excellent, I love it. <laughs> Excellent. I think maybe because the app was already existing. Test UI. We just delete it. Frank, 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 Frank. Uh, no, I was in the. Uh, in the good subscription damn it easy account set uh, you know what let's do a list I'll put table I create outspoken I don't know where I was but I was definitely not in the good subscription. So I need to do uh, AZ account set 
and then say the subscription is this. So now if I redo this, now I have my stuff. Okay, so let's do a clear and we should go. Oh, okay. So now, if I'm running this, should work. Nope. Maybe I should run the command before alone. So it did create this stuff. Oh, that's what I need. <laughs> okay. Uh, Azure CLI. I don't need that. I should be able to delete it also, right? Create. It was somewhere. Delete. I pass the ID. I just have the ID. Boom. And then you. Excellent. So we have that. How much time do we have? Because with those value, we'll update the settings and we should be able to log in at least but not call the Azure function, but you know, like baby steps. So now what I need to do is this new thing here. So now if I do echo, yeah. Getting there, getting there. Right, so we have our stuff, so let's do a clear. So now what we want is to add some, change some setting. I don't know how to do that.
Oh yeah, I shut the butt down. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's possible. Oh, so all that, I'm not sure it's possible. Damn it. Um, Azure Azure CLI Static Web App Web App little, little. Uh, Settings Do we have access to that? AZ static web app cool but it's I probably don't have the good CLI for that though so configure application prerequisite you can use the rest to upload Easy rest. Oh, I didn't know that easy rest. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Let's add that. Hey! Bubble, wait. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Kim Phil Potts. How was your stream? What your stream was about? You just got us. Hey, hello, everybody. Lachla Gordon. Hello, David. Bonjour. Thank you for the raids. Thank you. We're having fun today. We're exploring the new static web app. So we did deploy everything. Um, like we are deploying that thing here. So it's a URL shortener. Uh, it's using Azure Function, and the new version is using a Blazor WebAssembly static web app. So we deployed that. It's working. It's it's over there. Like it's in the cloud, <laughs> but. I'm using Azure Active Directory for the configuration, the login. So like not everybody can go and create short URL. So uh, we're trying to have by like kind of a script by command to change the settings. Uh, and that's what we are working on it right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that's what we are doing here. So like you could have a look here if you want. And you can play the game. We have the cloud bot that is available that keeps scores of everything. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so doing some ad center build and analytics. Oh, that's cool. Yay! New high score, congrats. Oh, some bits. Wow, so many stuff happening. <laughs> Need to catch up. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the bits. Latch, Gordon. Thank you. 100 bits. Very appreciated. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's have a look if the bot kept your stuff. So let's do a save. And let's right away, because they have a... a like the little cloud you saw here, if I do this, this, 
is CB for CloudBot. It's a chatbot, so it's it's my kind of a co-host, virtual co-host. So he's keeping track of everybody who's playing the game. On Friday's stream, what I do, I learn Node.js because I didn't know Learn.js. So we create this CloudBot and he's keeping track of the game. So every time you play to the game, it's keeping track of your best score and is also keeping track of different information for me. So for example, at any time you could do say time and uh, say uh, checking if uh, bits, uh, if uh, cheers are saved. And it will add a timestamp into the stream notes. So the stream notes are published on GitHub and also it helps me when I upload the archive on YouTube to have a cut timeline. So right now, if I go in the chatbot code, because I think I never save, you won't be able to do it. That's only for me. And time you need to add text after. And there's also another command you could do. It's uh, attention. And if you just type attention, it will just <clears throat> do this. But if you say attention with some text, it will be display like in the cloud letters in the screen. So you could exclamation point attention and some text. So right now, if I go in stream session, Let's go full screen. And so that's all the scores of the player. So I have the new follower. So David, I and Sam, I got you. Raiders, I got it. It's cool with 12. Got the O's. I didn't get the cheers though. So something is wrong with the cheer. I'm assuming it's a plural. Ping. So if I go at the top uh, in my object, where is it? Subscribers, cheer. Oh, that's singular. No, that's a new cheer. So it's cheers, plural, and cheer, singular. Okay, so now if I search for... Generate the cheer section. So for you, cheerer and cheerers. Yeah, but it was not there. So. I need to go here and it's on cheer. Did I? Cat. I should. On cheer. Log cheer. Ah, that's their problem. It was a plural. So I need to do it manually for this time though. But uh, thank you for the cheer. So now when we reboot, well, no, I don't want to do it right now, but uh, it will save everything. Thank you for the cheer. So cool. I didn't, I didn't have the, I didn't check that. So that's cool. So what I was doing, <laughs> I lost track. Did, and also thank you. So David, uh, what language I am developing? I am a C sharp developer. Like it's, not, I am a cloud architect. I work at Microsoft, so I'm a cloud. Not, not tr My title is cloud advocate. I was a cloud advocate. I was a cloud architect for a long time, solution cloud architect. Now I joined Microsoft. I'm a cloud advocate so my role is to help developer build stuff walk the talk kind of things so i'm always trying to be involved in open source project and do different things with azure the microsoft cloud uh, 
Uh, I really like the DevOps. I like uh, open source project. I have to have fun. Um, so this project is a little URL shortener that I created just for have fun to learn. And the CloudBot that you saw, if you go on my GitHub, oh, I was there. Uh, where is it? CloudBot. I did it because I was looking for some way to interact a little bit more with you and also to give you more power to have impact on the stream. So I was like, ah, maybe we should create the chatbot and the cloudies. That's how I call my community. Uh, they was like, ah, do it in JavaScript. And I was like, I don't know JavaScript. So that's why I did it in JavaScript. So uh, that was my first, and we just started lit like a month ago, maybe two. Maybe two, but like I'm not working. All, I'm only working on that on Fridays for about an hour, two hours, two hours and a half. So you know, it's progressing slowly. So uh, we did that. It's doing a bunch of stuff. You know, bonjour. Uh, you can have you have some sounds here that you could play. Whoa, that's big. So you have bonjour, bad, yak, yeah, knock. Um, I have those commands for me. And uh, we added now the attention. That is pretty cool. Um, so when I'm in the zone and you want to grab my attention to something, you could say attention with a message or just attention if you want. It will play a sound. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I did. So doing a lot of .NET because I like .NET. Uh, though I didn't practice a lot for years, so I'm rusted a little bit in it. But you know, having fun, doing a little bit of JavaScript. And like a lot of different things that are related to the cloud technology. That's that's the short version after <laughs> five minutes of explanation. Yeah. Uh, I want my. <laughs> there, 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 there. I will put them in the note manually. Don't worry. <laughs> It won't work. The <laughs> yeah, the cheat code is, is not working all the time. Are you develop something in Xamarin form? Uh, I don't, but uh, it's not something that is out of scope. I've been wanted to do stuff with Xamarin for a long time, so I might be doing something like that later not like next week but like it's in my uh, the, uh, scope of uh, interest but or mostly at the end of the stream so we should definitely have a look try to find someone who we could raid so if I go and do uh, live coders I'm part of the live coders live coders the dev there it is Who's streaming today? So, oh, Kevin is there. Been a while. So, what are you doing, Kevin, today? Talking over create server. Excellent. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, let's go see Kevin. Awesome. So let's come back here. I will do a stop of the stream to generate the show notes. Excellent. And I will just start the credits on a new page, maybe. Voila. Thank you all for being with, us, with me today. It was a pleasure. Thank you for the following, Serve Can, Al Can, Serve. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, so we learned a lot. Friday we'll have fun. We'll probably be working on the cloudbot, the chatbot. I think like we found some bugs issue today with the high score. So probably working on that and uh, adding more feature to have fun, more function to you. So let's go raid Mr. Kevin. Sending some love. Say hello, and I will see you Friday. Bye bye.